In this country, we have American Idol, and it's many spin-offs like So You Think You Can Dance and America's Got Talent and Nashville Star, etc. In Europe, they have Eurovision, which, believe it or not, is a way bigger deal. Eurovision's been broadcast every May since 1956. It's one of the longest-running TV programs of all time. Each of 43 countries picks a musical act to represent that country, and then millions of people vote for the winner. We have Eurovision to thank, or blame, depending on your perspective, for ABBA, for Celine Dion, for Julio Iglesias, for Cliff Richard, even for those poor river dance people who can't move their arms. Although only Europe participates, Eurovision has gained fans and grown its audience worldwide because it frankly is an Olympic grade display of truly over the top, I can't believe this is really happening, kitsch. But there's no news about this year's Eurovision contest that is way darker than your usual, you know, Belgium versus Holland, sequins versus satin shriek off. Azerbaijan and Armenia fought a war 15 years ago over a region called Nagorno-Karabakh. Don't worry, there's no spelling test here. The important point is that both countries are still really sore about it. And they're, they're right up on top of each other, and there's an Azerbaijan enclave right in the middle of Armenia. Everything is a sore issue between these two. In the Eurovision contest this year, both of these countries did, did, did pretty well. Azerbaijan came in third, Armenia came in tenth. Here's um, Armenia from this year. Now you see why I'm into this? All right, this was the Azerbaijan entry. I believe I'm addicted to you. In your eyes, I see dreams coming true. Finally, I have found you, and now I will never let you go. No, you are always on my mind, always in my heart. Um, the BBC reports today that now, Three months after Eurovision, because remember it happens in May, police in Azerbaijan have called in for questioning people who live in Azerbaijan but who voted for Armenia, the country's arch rival. Apparently they know for sure somehow that 43 people in Azerbaijan voted for the dreaded Armenians. You vote by text message. And the Azerbaijani National Security Ministry has been calling people who voted for Armenia in for questioning. The National Security Ministry has confirmed that they've done this to Reuters. They have confirmed that they are questioning Azerbaijanis for the crime of voting for the wrong song. Which is, of course, yet another reason why Azerbaijani Idol is going to stick.